The Scurries Project is a high-grade gold and copper deposit located on the Halkidiki Peninsula in northern Greece. The project is part of the Cassandra Mines Complex, which also includes Olympias, an operational polymetallic mine, and the newly built Coconolicus Dry Stack Tailings Facility that is compliant with the Towards Sustainable Mining, the Mining Association of Canada's commitment to responsible mining. Since 2004, the Scurries project has been operated by the Greek mining company Hellas Gold, a wholly owned subsidiary of Eldorado Gold. We have invested 1.2 billion US dollars into Greece to date and have generated hundreds of millions of euros in payments to Greek suppliers, local salaries, export revenues, and taxes. Scurries is a world-class asset that has been designed from the ground up to meet our sustainable mining goals by adopting best available technologies that ensure a lasting positive impact for our stakeholders. As part of the investment agreement between Hellas Gold and the Hellenic Republic ratified in early 2021, Hellas Gold intends to complete the construction of the Scurries mine and plant and commence gold and copper production via open pit and underground mining for 20 years. Hellas Gold has constructed approximately 50% of the project and have invested $550 million to date. Currently, an additional $845 million is required to bring the project to commercial production. The recent Scurries feasibility study indicates that the Scurries mine will produce, on average, 140,000 ounces of gold and 67 million pounds of copper annually. Phase one is a combined open pit and underground mine operating for approximately nine years. Phase two will be a continuation and expansion of the underground mining development and will operate for a further 11 years. During the life of the mine, ore will be extracted from both the underground mine and open pit mine, which will be fed into the processing facility that produces a gold copper concentrate for sale to worldwide markets. Once the ore reaches the processing facility, it will move through to the crushing and grinding circuit to reduce the ore down to a fine sand size and mix with water to form a slurry. The slurry is then sent through a flotation unit where metals are extracted, reground, and cleaned. At the final stage of the process, the slurry is sent through to concentration filtration and loadout, where the saleable product is stockpiled and bagged for transportation. The byproduct of the extraction process is a waste called tailings. Here at Scurries, we are utilizing a best available technique called dry stack tailings to reduce the water content of the tailings and make the tailings process safer and more environmentally friendly. Dry stack requires a smaller footprint and therefore minimizes our environmental impact as compared to conventional tailing storage. The tailings will be partially utilized as paste backfill to fill voids of both the open pit and underground mine at the end of life. And this allows us to reduce the above ground tailing storage footprint. We understand how important water is to the region. So we manage water in three ways. By reducing our consumption through deliberate engineering choices, ensuring that as much water as possible does not reach the site through water diversion channels, and reducing the inflows of water underground through pre-dewatering prior to re-injecting into the aquifer. We are also treating water that comes in contact with the mining activity through our on-site water treatment plant and reuse it in our daily operations. Following best practices and techniques used during the rehabilitation of historic mining activities at Olympias, the rehabilitation of the Scurries mine will happen in conjunction with mining activities so that the mine can be progressively brought back to as close to its original condition as possible, as early as possible. Upon the commencement of construction and transition to production, Scurries will create significant economic and social value at both a national and local level. Over the life of the Cassandra Mines, $80 million will be committed to corporate social responsibility programs, including community, cultural, social, environmental, and charitable purposes. 
At the same time, we are focused on local hiring and procurement with the goal of training all employees and contractors in leading environmental and health and safety practices, procedures, and controls. These and other skills can also help workers find employment after a construction project is completed. We are proud to present this project to the people of Greece and to provide our employees, communities, and investors a world-class asset that is sustainable and provides socioeconomic benefits for the local community and broader Greek economy.